everybody, it's Kristen. So I had asked a few videos back if anybody wanted me to do kind of a tutorial or how I do it sort of video on a look that I wear for the holidays. And, and this is the look that I wore for Thanksgiving and I had it on in a video the day after Thanksgiving when I was doing a giveaway. And so I had asked if you guys wanted to see that. That was a really long intro to here's a holiday look, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and the, what I like about this particular I look is that it's featuring one of the combos I've really enjoyed as of late. And it's the Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in Cocoa as a base with MAC Sable over top of it. So that is the, you know, kind of the outer portion of this. Um, and I will show you all of the, you know, all the products that I use as I go along. And I will list that in the, in the description bar below. I'll list each product so that you know exactly what I'm going to use. And yeah, so we will cut to the demo and then we'll come back and I will show you what I have on the rest of my face. So if you want to see how I created this look, then keep watching. Okay, so I have foundation, powder, um, well not powder, bare minerals. I'm using painterly. I want to show you guys I did actually stir it up. I, I don't like that it's not all neat and nice in there, but it does seem to function a little bit better. And we're just going to put that all over my lid. Okay, so um, Painterly is on my lid, and I'm going to use this Laura Mercier um, Caviar Stick in Cocoa. And some some people would say you could use this without using um, any sort of primer. I don't. I always start with a blank canvas, especially right now because my eyes are still, um, my eyelids are still having issues based because of that um, Sephora water. And so I am just putting this all over the lid like that. Super attractive, I know. And I'm going to take a synthetic brush. This is the Real Techniques Domed Shadow Brush. And just smooth that out over the lid. You can see I'm going into the inner corner, but not all the way. And I always have a towel in my, in my lap. So in case I feel like there's too much product, I brush it off a little bit. Or like, you know, wipe it off a little bit. Just pull that up into the crease a little bit. And I mean, right from the very beginning, I'm making sure not to get beyond this. You know, that was helpful. This kind of line right here, because if I go beyond here, it will draw my eyes way down. Not literally, but you know what I mean. Okay, so that is the base. Then I'm going to take Sable from MAC and a 239 brush. Just pat over top of that. I really like this color combo. It's a, is it a color combo? It's a combo nonetheless. <clears throat> it's really early in the morning, so I apologize for the throat clearing. Actually, it's 5.30 a.m. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to flip that over and go into Shroom. I'm just going to pull, go in the inner corner and pull that over. I just want to give some light to the inner corner and then I flip back over to this side. And I do a lot of... <laughs> Oh boy, these are my little crazy tricks. So I flip it and kind of go back and forth, flip it back over here. Just because I want it really blended, I try not to have a real stark line in between. And everybody has different ways that they do this, but that's my way. Okay, I'm going to take, you can take whatever kind of fluffy, whoops, turn my light off. Uh, whatever kind of fluffy brush you like, and I'm going into Wedge. And into the crease. I'm showing you this on purpose. So sometimes I don't, I think that this is, this brush is my favorite crease brush, but sometimes I feel like it's a, sometimes maybe it's a little harsher line. So you could also use a 222. It's a little more, the brush is a little more stiff. You can use that if you feel like you're having a hard time blending out that line. I'm going to get the other eye to this point and I'll come back. Okay, we are to that point pretty much. <laughs> I'm 
pretty much. I'm just going to finish my blending here and I have my crease color in and everything. And what I'm going to do is take a MAC 217 or a Sigma E something, 25? I'll list it below, of course. And I'm going into Blanc Type. Sometimes I use Brulee, sometimes I use Blanc Type. That day I used Blanc Type. And I'm just going along here. I've mentioned this before, but this little, this trick with the 217 instead of my other normal brush, when I really want to get something blended here, I learned that from Zabrina from MAC Shadow Combos, which I'll list below. As you get... Someday I'm going to talk about how this mirror was one of the biggest regret purchases of my life. <laughs> okay, we'll do this one here as well. Okay. And you saw probably I did it without even thinking it. I will use this to clean up my sides as well. And then the last thing that I want to do, and I forgot to grab the brush here. This is a Makeup Geek brush. I, I apologize. I don't know what it's called because there's no name on it. Looks like this, though. Tapered Dome brush, maybe? <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to go into Brune. And the only reason that I chose Brune originally was because it just happened to be in the palette that had Sable in it. Um... Boy, this is probably extreme close-up and you guys can see my gray. I'm getting my hair colored on Saturday. So I'm just <laughs> just putting this in my outer V. And literally going down here and up into here. And I always, you see me tap off, I always start with a little bit of color and build up. I think it's easier that way. And then I'm going to take the same crease brush, it's a fluffier brush, so you could use like a 224 or something like that. And I'm just working it in here a little bit. So you're not really trying to say, hey, I've put a third color in there. You're just trying to get some more dimension. I'll do the other one and I'll come back. Okay, that day I actually don't honestly remember exactly what I did underneath, but I'm going to... <laughs> But I'm going to take Sable on this, it's a kind of a pointed, fluffier brush. It's a Quo Crease Blender brush. It's smaller, you could use like a 219 for MAC or something like that. And I'm just going to pull that underneath with Sable first. Can't even believe it's almost Christmas. Where has this year gone? <laughs> Random information. Okay, and then I'm going to take the Brune. And I'm just going to put that kind of in the outer third. Like that. Okay, so aside from eyeliner that pretty much does it for the look, um, I'm going to use the Avon Super Shock liner just because that's the black I'm using. I'm going to go top line and all of that, mascara, and then I'll come back and show you what's on the rest of my face. Okay, so here's the final look, but I thought I would zoom you in quickly before I go back out and tell you everything else that's on my face. Okay, so for blush today, I used the Illamasqua Blush in Naked Rose, which is what I used that day. What I think that this particular blush kind of enables you to do is you could wear the lip that I'm wearing, which I'll show you in a minute. I think you could do a nude lip. You could do a red lip. I, it's kind of the nice thing about this particular eye look, in my opinion, is that while it is a little smoky, it's not too smoky or too dark, in my opinion, to do, you know, kind of a more amped up lip if you so desire. I don't do that very often, but you know. On my lips today, I have the, which is what I was wearing that day, the Guerlain Lipstick in Grenade, number 65. Grenade, not sure. 
I'm pretty sure this is the one I was wearing. It was one of the two that I have. And I think that is it. I think you will have seen everything else. As I said I, during the demo, I'm wearing the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, the Laura or the Bare Minerals Foundation in Light, NYX Taupe as contour, and for highlight today, I didn't mention that. Mention that I have the Mary Luminizer, which looks like this. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that and that you will try it out. If you do or have any, if you do, let me know. If you have any questions, feel free to list them below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.